it is any of the characters. Ooh, hello. Hey, um, hello. that has to be me. Who, you, you want to be... Uh... Oh, man. Wanna I want to be, be righty. Oh. Check out <laughs> all sir. these babes. <laughs> Check babes out all only? these babes here. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's me right there. She's got the, the newsboy cap. Why why are you why are you tilting it like that? That's <laughs> You can oh you can look around. What are we, oh do I have to oh you're picking all this up. Yeah, yeah. Balmy let's, dooms. Let's play uh just like a normal one, right? Oh, you you don't want to play uh, the one with all the tornadoes and stuff? Or uh... I can, cause I now I know, but bombing yeah, dudes. A little... Well, yeah. I mean, you're not. I wrong. mean, just for Sips' sake, I don't really care. Yeah, but... there you go. Let's just eighteen holes. Oh of my! Bombing eighteen, dreams. eighteen beautiful holes <laughs> of fantasy <laughs> golf. Mm. Oh man, I I almost went to pitch and putt this weekend. Like yeah. actually? Yeah, what, yeah, but then you? I didn't. Uh, what stopped me is that I felt bad about the idea of asking my wife, hey, can you look after the baby while I play 18 holes of pitch and putt? <laughs> so I think I might leave that one. Uh, Man, the, it gets easier. Hopper. Trust me, it gets uh, easier. to. You get so fed up in the end that you're just like, I have to go to pitch and putt. <laughs> You're on your own, baby. <laughs> oh, Whoa. Man, look at that. Oh, my gosh. So, you, if you use the range finder, this is, um, is, does it play a bit like PGA 2K21 or like, not really? I don't, it, range finder, you mean like the, the scope thing, like the telescope they yeah. give you? I, I have never used that in this game. You don't purpose. need, it's there, but I don't think you need it, really. That's like for the super sweat lord Melvins. Oh, look at that. So you see those little top two little triangles on your power meter? Yeah. That's like a risk zone. So like on certain oh. clubs or if you're shooting from certain areas, it'll be oh, larger. No. <laughs> so that's that's why you went to the right. There's like a chance. Right. Um. So you almost like sometimes want to maybe like not quite um, oh, go okay. all the way. You, see, you, oh. I got lucky. I didn't. That is true. There is there I'm is this, very. I am in the sand. I'm oh, and the then do wait till your next shot. Then it's gonna be a freaking disaster. Like look oh, at there, there's like no safety. You you got a little draw to the right there. Yeah, all the red stuff on the right side. So the further the more power you try to give it, the riskier it is. But how do I uh, change my shot here? That's uh, up and down on the D pad or analog stick. And then oh, uh, X will show you the overhead map as well. Yeah. That way X. you can see where the ball's going. And then wind on right. the left, which I found wind doesn't affect you nearly as much as PGA. I need a sand wedge. Here we go, baby. Go. Oh, mm, open face club sandwich. <laughs> nice shot. Yo! Nice shot. Oh, come on. <laughs> it was. Uh... Oh no! Oh, there's a little <laughs> no. bit of wind. <laughs> I could have I could have worked around the wind a little bit. Not on not on uh, hole one of eighteen. Is <laughs> I don't want it to get the the Valorant treatment and get uninstalled. Um, hey, so I bought I bought this game the other day, uh, like when it came out, because I knew that people would want to play it, and um, I, I I physically bought it from the store. Oh really? And I brought it home, and uh, my son was coming home from school. And I was like, Hey, guess what I got today? And he was like, uh, What'd you get? Like thinking that it was something cool or whatever. It's like I got Mario Golf for the Switch. He's like, oh my god, I, I can't believe it, Mario Golf. I gotta try it. I gotta try it. Gotta... So he goes and plays it, and then like, uh, you know, like maybe 15 minutes later, I I go inside, <laughs> and he's not playing it anymore. It's like, oh hey, how was Mario Golf? He's like, rubbish. <laughs> like, he just, just hated it. <laughs> I guess wow. he just doesn't doesn't like golf. Yeah, he just is that like his first <laughs> golf game? Yeah. Oh, he just I mean, did not like it at all. Ooh, that's a nice shot. Oh, thank you. A little super bad. I didn't want to overdo mine, but no, that's very nice. Ooh. Ooh. Kind of why is the, uh, I gotta I gotta hit this like through a tree. Yeah, uh it'll hit the tree, yeah. You gotta So you can aim Yeah, like to... If you press A no no no. Okay, that works. Yeah, it's, I, just it's totally get it. I just gotta get it onto the green. Mm -hmm. yeah, like rubbish the fairway yeah, I need to <laughs> so yeah he really didn't he didn't like it at all 
It's tough when you're a kid too, right? Because like your access to games is so intermittent. Okay, look buy, at this. This would have been perfect if, I, yeah, nice. if I'd uh, taken into account some wind. Some wind and, and the roll as well. Oh, Jesus is. Uh... Yeah, he's he is he's very British in a lot of ways. He does say garbage though, which is <laughs> not not a common term over here. Oh, British like, people uh, don't say that. They don't say garbage very often, uh, and they especially they don't refer to things as being garbage. You know, like uh, like your argument is garbage. Like they would <laughs> like would, they would never say that. Uh, but he does say it sometimes. I don't know if people really understand what he's saying. Oh. Does he uh, does he watch streamers? Um, he watches like uh, not streamers. Like he watches content on YouTube occasionally, and it's mostly just like Minecraft and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, like nothing. Uh, Minecraft nothing and uh, Ben Shapiro debate compilations. <laughs> Bogey. Uh, yeah, and he watches that one there as well. The um. Guy, Guy Ferrari, the, that guy that tastes. <laughs> nah, he doesn't watch that at all. Uh, he doesn't Should. watch that. Uh, he Should. doesn't watch uh, anything except for he watches um this guy. Have you guys ever heard of Stampy? He like does. Minecraft oh yeah, yeah. Stuff. He watches him, yeah. that sometimes, and one of his friends, Squid, who also does Minecraft stuff, he watches that too. But we haven't let him watch like PewDiePie or anything like that because. Uh, <laughs> You know, when he's older, he can discover all that, the all joy that, of all that stuff, you know? All that good stuff, yeah. All the great stuff, yeah. This is going to be the best hole-in-one you've ever seen. Get ready for this. So there's a lot of wind on this. I. Yeah, again, it doesn't, it's not quite as bad as PGA Tour. I've so you guys found. just, you just got, you guys just go like, um, balls to the wall with the backspin. Oh my gosh. Oh, that, that was, was a, a shot. Um, that was a shot and a half. Yeah, I, I uh, well, I like to use backspin on the shot that's gonna land on the green, because I think right. it, it makes it more predictable where it'll be with res with respect to the hole. Which one's backspin B? Mouth yes. is use Mal Mouth isn't even using a driver here. Look, he doesn't even. This <laughs> well, club isn't even gonna get him to the thing. Oh, I I I think you're right on that one. Nice shot. I think you're still in the garden center. Yeah, he's coming up short on this. You know, I'm um, I'm expecting more roll, and then I put backspin on it too. Um, that's a that's a tre tremendous amount of backspin that you put it's on okay, that. It's okay. I'll bad just keep it in. I don't, I don't give a frick. I'm I'm here for the banter. If, yeah. If you wanna yeah. if you wanna beat me uh, and brag about it, go ahead. But know that this I'm. This is gonna. Oh, this is a look great at shot. this. That you on. actually wow. almost oh. got a, a hole in one on your second got a hole, hole of the game. Nice I think if I hit the pin, it was. I I prefer it. the uh, the shot taking in this game to PGA 2K21 with the like the analog keeping oh, it straight and everything. I hear I can't do it Man. anymore. Yeah, I hated that. Well, I I did really like that game actually a lot, but this is a bit easier, you know. I I, I like the simple golf. PGA vet, yeah. It is funny that it has like a it has like a sim stroke, but then you can also gaze into the future to see where your putt's gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna just adjust a little bit here. Yeah, I just I, I wish it had been a hole in one for you, just so you could like take the switch oh. into your son's room wow. and then be like, "Who's rubbish now?" <laughs> yeah. Now, how do you like them apples? He's, it's like two in the morning. He's asleep. <laughs> What? <laughs> Dude, when I was oh, like, nice. I was like eight or nine, my parents got insanely into the Super Nintendo version of Tetris 2. And oh wow, I don't know if I ever even played that. They did wake me up. It, it felt like it was 2 a.m. It was probably like 10:30, but they woke me up and they were they were like, we made it to like level 60, and I was like, what? And I came out into the into the living room to like watch them play Tetris 2 for 10 minutes. <laughs> I remember the first time uh, we ever rented a uh, an NES console. This is before we we bought one. My parents rented one one weekend, <laughs> and uh, they rented the NES console and they rented Contra, the you know like the original oh, yeah, Contra yeah. game. And um, my dad like hooked it up 
and then I had to sit there and watch my mom and dad play Contra a couple of times before they would let me play it, and it was it was pretty bad. Like I was <laughs> actually kind of upset. The whole time I just couldn't wait to play, and they're like, "No, no, no, no! One more <laughs> try. We just need it. dude." That's my whole life, you know, waiting oh. for my older brothers to get off so I could play. You Man. know, three older siblings. That's true. Although I'm my sister never really on this one, but really played games. She's too busy. On the phone. Know. On the on phone. The phone. Probably. Talking on the phone. Yeah. Does she have one of those uh, board games where like the cute boys call it the phone that's in the center, and you pick it up, and they're like, "Hi," and then you go "Hello," and they, they interrupt you. It's Damon. Hope I'll see you at the mall later tonight. <laughs> oh, hey, I watched a movie yesterday for the first oh, time in a long time. It was actually oh. on TV. And it was the movie Yesterday. Do you ah, remember that? Oh, the Beatles one? The I haven't Beatles, seen the that. The Beatles one, yeah. yeah. What'd Man, you think? It was all right, actually. I didn't, I didn't mind it. I thought it was okay. I like to hear some Beatles songs. I think they did, like, a pretty good job with the, with the, with the Beatles songs. And, um... Yeah, it was, it was just a neat idea for a movie, and it was kind of nice that it was just, like, a simple enough story to fit into a movie, you know? It didn't feel like mm -hmm. it needed, like, a lot of explaining or whatever. It's just kind of like, yeah, it was all right. I didn't mind it. You should talk about it with Dan. I, I think what? he gave yesterday a 9 out of 10 on dangeasling.com really? <laughs> slash movies. Are you serious? I, right, I believe... right, right next to Prometheus. <laughs> right next, it's up there with Prometheus and the Karate Kid Part 2. Hold on, let Man. me. Uh, what, I'll look what it up. What is right it now. with Dan and the Karate Kid? He absolutely <laughs> loves everything Karate Kid. I enjoy Karate Kid, but it's definitely seems, seems like, like it's nostalgia, right? Like, I don't think it's a critical. Dan Easling IMDb. Oh, that's no, that's his IMDb page. <laughs> it's, yeah, uh, it just I, redirects. <laughs> I always love so Dan is also expecting uh, a child. Um, yes. Right now. I love like it always shows up in uh, like enews.com because he's a reality TV superstar. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> Dangeasling.com slash movies now has a, a construction sign, like a coming soon. Under construction. Page. Yeah. Oh, oh right. he's taking it he's to the next figure. level. He's gonna he's gotta I'm surprised that he, being somebody who, um, the first time I met Dan, he'd never even listened to, uh, Sgt. Pepper's. And, um, I mean, I, like, I, I, I'm, you can appreciate the Beatles for sure, having not mm. heard that album, but I feel like it's kind of an essential album, too. You know, he, like, as part of your Beatles journey. He oh, told on us. Kanye. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, we asked him to name four Beatles about a year ago. Uh, and I believe he said Ringo, Paul, Minkus, Minkus and Paul. And Paul. So. This, the whole Minkus thing is, is a heavy feature with Dan as well. <laughs> Didn't he, like, think Pokemons were named that, too? Yeah, Minkus. A couple of different Pokemons named, like, Minkus and Dinkus and stuff like Jet that. Like, Lemon. It just, yeah. Blue Bonzi. He just runs out of ideas and then just defaults to these certain things. <laughs> Which is understandable. I mean, I would do the porker. Porker. <laughs> porker yeah. Nice. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've seen yesterday, um, but we we have a differing opinion on the film. I've, I found yeah. it kind of, uh, I didn't like it, but that's, it's fine. You know? No, I mean, I, 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 I don't, there. I don't, I wouldn't expect anybody to, to really like go nuts about mm -hmm. it. Like it was just on TV and mm -hmm. it was, better than watching um, whatever else was on TV, you know what oh, I mean? Oh, no question. But yeah, it was alright, actually. It's better than the uh, Strawberry Fields Forever one? Well, I don't know if I saw that one, actually. Really? Nice. Yeah. Strawberry Fields Forever. You know, the one... The one? <clears throat> the one across the universe? Across the <gasps> universe, that's the one. Yeah. If only Wait, I did you watch it, um, Elf? Did you watch yesterday? No, I've not seen it yet. Oh, yeah, you, you said you didn't see it. Sorry. I forgot already. <clears throat> Right. Well, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I mean, if you haven't seen it yet, like you're not really missing that much, I would say. Well, the best like, time to all, watch it, it was okay. It was was yesterday. Oh. <laughs> oh, I get it. You know what? Actually, it's the kind of movie that is good to watch if you're doing something like you're you're visiting relatives or something, and you're at their house and you're kind of stuck there and there's yeah. nothing else to do, and it comes on. That's the perfect time to watch it because you'll be like, oh man, this is a lifesaver. 
but I wouldn't like seriously go out of your way to watch it. And, you know, like you know what I mean? Because yeah, I think no. you'd probably be a bit disappointed. I'll check it. I, you know, I, I, <laughs> I like to think I, I can handle very bad movies and still f enjoy. It's it. not that bad. Well, well, not that it's bad, but like you know, I enjoy bad movies. Yeah. And then I, I enjoy and appreciate good movies. You know. I'd say um, that's true. Yeah. I watched three movies this weekend. Jeez. Let me tell you, if you like bad movies, uh, our employer came out with a really good bad one on uh, Friday. It's called The Tomorrow War on Amazon Prime. Oh, that's the Chris Pratt one, right? It is the Chris Pratt one. I would describe it as rubbish. Rubbish. What a what a putt. Look at that. Jeez. Michael saves par. I just uh, have trouble getting on the greens, but once we're there... <laughs> Nice I also watched The Invisible Man. I would describe oh, it as... Oh, Kevin Bacon. No, no that's, that's, good. that's Hollow Man. That's Hollow Man. Wait, Invisible Man? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With right. Peggy, Peggy 18 from uh, Mad Men. Mad Men. Park. I know Peggy. Yeah. And uh, I watched Palm Springs, which was, was quite good. Man. I still haven't seen that movie Parasite, which apparently... Oh, is dude, you're... A, it's good. Yeah, that's a great movie. Have yeah. you seen The I Lighthouse? From, no, I've never even heard of the lighthouse. You've never it's... even heard of the lighthouse? Nope. So it's what is the same it? Who's in it? 2019. It's it's Willem Dafoe and and uh, Robert Pattinson, um, and then like you know, nice shot. you know that's pretty much. Man, it. I'm trying to get my wife to watch Whiplash still. Oh, Have I told you guys about again this? last weekend, man. <laughs> or I don't know, sometime. It's so I good. keep saying like we should watch Whiplash, and she's like, no, no, I'm not in the mood to watch Whiplash, like. She knows what it's about and everything, but she just doesn't trust me that it's a good movie. And I keep trying to say to her, like, it's really good. Uh, and I know when she watches it, she's going to be like, oh, my God, why did it take me so long to watch this movie? But I just can't. doesn't matter what I do. I was going to buy her a copy for her birthday, like, as a joke, because it's a long-running joke how she never wants to watch it. And I just keep asking if she wants to watch it. So I was going to buy her, like, a, a copy, but I was too lazy to, to track her limited <laughs> And, uh, no, I didn't want to get that either. And then, um, and so now, um, anytime she's like, cause, cause she's like really heavily pregnant and, uh, actually the baby's technically due next week. Wow. Uh, she's like, uh, I need you to do me a quick favor. Like, can you hang this, this washing out on the line? And now, so now my go-to is always like, yeah, I'll do it if we can watch Whiplash while I do it <laughs> outside in the backyard. Stuff like that. It's pretty good. Do you find know, it sure, uh, sure. it hard to pick a movie to watch with your spouse? Um, yeah, we not not overly. Like we do have differing tastes, but um, oh no, this tree just just caught the branch there. Um, the the cutoff for her is like sort of fantasy sci-fi stuff, you know, like okay, Game yeah. of Thrones. She she would never watch uh, Star Wars. She came with me to see them in the theaters and, you know, enjoyed them enough, like, because, like, you know, they're fairly entertaining, but, like, has no idea about, like, what's going on in the story or, well, I mean, neither do I really, but, uh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. she does, she's not, like, a, like, a super fan or anything. She goes for more, like, uh, oh. like, psychological stuff or whatever, like, dramas and, and, oh. and stuff like that. Hey, does, has she seen Nightcrawler? No. <laughs> now that's a movie. Have you seen Nightcrawler? No. It's really good. It's We're both like, in it's... the same boat here in that we we rarely, rarely watch movies. It's like, uh, uh, It came out like around the same time as, uh, or same year, I think, as Whiplash. Oh, okay. um, and they're kind of like movie. I have these movies I like to watch in pairs. Sometimes just because it's like, you know, Volcano, Dante's Peak, oh. Armageddon, Deep Impact. These, they're just both good movies. Um right. But you'd, I think you'd like it for sure. It's I don't like know if I even saw Deep Impact. I remember that's the one with Morgan Freeman, right? About the asteroid yeah. hitting uh, Elijah hitting Wood. <clears throat> and uh, I remember yeah. that coming out, but I, 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 I didn't see it. I could go for a disaster movie, big disaster movie like. Oh, uh, you want that a movie one? that is a disaster? Um, the Tomorrow no, 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 no. just <laughs> came out on Amazon Prime. <laughs> no, no, I want something not, not like a, I want a good movie about a big. You know, like cataclysmic uh, world event. You know, like uh, oh, um, twenty twelve. Like, I watched that again recently. <laughs> what's uh, what's that? It's John Cusack. 
basically it's like a super solar flare and uh it makes the earth's core like it's unstable or something and just like massive earthquakes and tsunamis so like um, are the effects like really good like do, do you get scared do you see like lots of people crap in their pants oh stuff? they show they show some yeah it's not bad um, effects wise like it's not Whoa. Like, wow Ooh. very tight 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 okay i just got to figure out how to actually um sync this into the what am i using here not not my probably putter. not a putter yeah well, I, I I'm asked thinking about, of using uh, uh, the pitching wedge, no, the sand wedge for this one. So, I mean, you, you see can, where the pin is on that. your little bar, and just <clears throat> got a little bit of wind. That looks pretty good. That's a tight shot. This is a shot. Wow. Oh, too much power. Wow, gosh, I didn't expect it to have that much power. I had to uh, to ask about the movie selection though, because. Uh, on Saturday, we had a rare bit of like, I mean, it's the closest thing you can have to a date night with like uh, a nine month old <laughs> infant and no family oh, yeah, around. Of course, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we, we were going to watch a movie and I wanted to watch Tenet and she wanted to watch Raya and the Last Dragon. So we both compromised right. and watched The Invisible Man instead. <laughs> but it took, right. it took like, uh, like 40 minutes for us to to pick a movie because like you could have just watched half a movie in we, that time we, absolutely we could have yeah. added uh, like uh, we could have added half a movie on top of that okay if that had been me in the same situation i still would not have been able to get my wife to watch whiplash like uh <laughs> it's she just just like a like a huge mental block against the movie for some reason just flip a coin <clears throat> and yeah. i i always find myself in like a weird position of like being a salesman like for a movie that I haven't seen, like we were looking yeah. at the the movies that were out on like on demand, and uh, I was like, oh, there's this movie Nobody that stars like Bob Odenkirk, and I heard it was I really Bob. good. And oh, I watched that. Uh, I watched really that. Good, yeah. And um, then she was like, oh, maybe that's good, and I'm like, yeah, it's kind of like I think it's like John Wick, but it's like more comedy. And then I was like, I'd over, I oversold it. And she was like, uh, maybe next time. And I was like, oh, son of a... Now I gotta... <laughs> All right, fine. Let's watch The Invisible Man. Nice shot. Uh, nobody's fine. Invisible Man? Yeah. Who's in that one? Uh, Elizabeth Moss. And... Okay. Um... Uh... <laughs> um... The, have you seen The Haunting of Hill House? Uh, nope. All right. Um, Is that a good one? It's it is it's season one of that. It's a pretty good show, yeah. Here we go. This is a shot. Look at this, Salem. Yeah, how can you see who's in Invisible Man? I was I was trying to come up with some kind of joke like. What uh, was that wait. movie that came out in the '90s? The super like Mystery Men. Was that the one? That oh had yeah. The, uh, ben the Affleck. Guy from... No, Ben Stiller. Remember, uh, remember sure had Stiller. The, the dude that that the Invisible Boy and uh, but he was like he wasn't invisible. Yeah, that Kel Mitchell. He, yeah, he just closed his eyes, <laughs> then he was he thought he was invisible. <laughs> Man. Was anybody else like strangely oh, addicted sorry, to the movie Richie Rich as a kid? <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> Can't say that I was. No. Nope. Dude. We had it on on VHS and I just like this kid's got a McDonald's in his home, he's got his own roller coaster. Oh, wore the wore the reels out on Oh, that one. oh here yeah. we go. This Look is going this, in by the end. That's Look at gorgeous. This. Yeah. Oh! oh. In. I think I'm putting wow. a bit too much power on these. I gotta. Yeah, on the green, you you definitely adjust. want some some backspin unless. Uh, unless hey, so winning. I got my uh, I got I did the capture card in the end. Yeah, the look at this. Thank I you. Everything. I'm all set to go. Let's go. Here we I are. was you... sweating. I had to open up the computer <laughs> and everything. You gave it a little testy poo. Oh, I gave it a test, uh, but I've got the. It's nice with the with the uh, preview thing, like Ryan was saying. Yeah. Uh, I have the audio coming through on my headphones and stuff. I, I can play it on this monitor. Oh man, it's actually pretty nice. It's a good setup. You can play Mario. I can stream. Party. I can stream this if I wanted to. Yeah. Play Mario Kart. You can play. Oh yeah. Um, all all the Mario Mario. I tennis. have all. I have them all. Oh, really? I have all of the cartridges. You don't, you don't need to get Mario Tennis. Honestly, it's kind of rubbish, but... Oh, my God. It rubbish. <laughs> it sounds great, though. Like, how could a tennis game be bad? I mean, I have played a couple of them. I Actually, 
A tennis game that I played not long ago is the only game I've ever refunded on Steam. I was oh, so angry what, what was it? Is it full full Aces Tennis Simulator? I can't remember the one that I played. It was, uh, but I was so upset that I uh, I refunded it. it was just... <laughs> Ao Tennis, maybe that was it. I'm not sure. There was I, I played a tennis game on Steam like three months ago, and I, it, yeah. it's the first time I think this has ever happened. I Googled tennis games on steam and there was a sponsored ad at the Win. top oh oh my gosh and i clicked on it and i was like eh, this game actually looks great the reviews are great the tutorial just to be able to hit a ball was like an hour and a half long oh, um, and it was like you know hold l2 while pivoting the right stick to change the angle of your wrist um that being said i i enjoyed it i'll oh, probably no. go back to it Kind of, I, I just like tennis, man. Yeah, yeah I, I like tennis as well, but I just wanted to like... I played tennis, I think, shortly after I played FIFA for, for a while. Mm. Which I enjoyed. I really liked playing FIFA. And um, I think I was just a little bit let down by how uh, little representation in the gaming group there is for tennis. But then it turns out that actually tennis games, video games are just not... Not that interesting, right? Oh, that's like the one Rockstar just... made. I'd rather watch tennis than play it. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ro Rockstar made the table tennis game. Oh, right. Top Spin was pretty good. Like, Top, Top Spin 1 on the original Xbox, that was a, a good nice game. Song. Yeah, I don't know. Mario Tennis was all I ever wanted. <laughs> Mario Tennis 64 is a great game. Mario Tennis Aces is like... It it I, I associate it with being infected with like Norwalk or something. Like I, I I have ever told you guys my pet theory about how I think I might have actually been like the first person on Earth with COVID. But that <laughs> no, was the do King. share, please. I think I, it was like 2018. I went to my parents' house, and then I just got like so sick when I was there. It's like the sickest yeah. I've ever been in my life. And so I mean, it was probably just like influenza, but. In, in my head, I'm like, I, I might have been the first person with COVID. I might be able to uh, get to the bottom of this mystery, actually. What were the symptoms? Um, of I, I got so uh, waylaid that I actually had time to watch the Shawshank Redemption in order to have a conversation about it with my good friend, Michael A. Well, Alpha. yeah, the conversation was, eh. I thought it was pretty good. It's just like a little long. No, it's beautiful. Every time I watch it, I'm like, oh, man. What a shot, dude. What a shot. Oh, Look wow. at this. Oh, man. <laughs> who is this man? This is a man who's trying to get turn his plus one into a zero, baby. <laughs> and anyway, I just, like, I was stuck on the couch that whole time I was at my parents' house. So all I did was play Mario Tennis Aces and get... It, it, the multiplayer was like tournaments. I would always get to like the semifinals. Then some asshole would play as Bowser Jr. And the shots like after they bounce, they go backwards. And I was just like, I hate it. But I, I despite hating it, you know, I did probably play like 50 hours in two weeks. So, <laughs> wow. Can't be I had that, a similar can't be experience with uh, Metal Gear 2, I think, on the PlayStation 2. Oh, yeah. I Me was uh, Metal Gear Solid. I rented. I rented yeah, I rented it while I was sick, but I was only sick for like a day. But then, because I played it so much, I felt more sick, so I had to take a couple more days off, and which turned into a week of me sitting around in my pajamas and not washing and playing this game a lot. Yeah. Uh, and it got to the point where my friends came over like at the end of the week, and they were like, "We haven't okay? seen you for a week. Where, like, where have you been?" And I was just like. I felt like the spruce moose guy, like I had a beard and like there was paper <laughs> towel all over the ground. And You're stuff. like, I've been and in I, the big shell. I had all these new systems and everything. It's like, when you were, on, I'm almost done. I gotta take this back tomorrow. When you were a kid, did you ever rent a putter? Uh, <laughs> Dude, when you were talking go. about renting a, a console, it made me laugh because I remember nice. before I got a, a PS1, my parents rented one from Jumbo Video. The only yeah. game that they rented alongside it was like this weird 3D pitfall game that was pure garbage.
Oh, right, okay. Oh, man. Yeah, I rented, I only rented a, a PlayStation 1 at the time because of uh, Final Fantasy 7. Oh, it did that's come out and I, and I wanted to play it. So it that's seems like why. a not, not very cost effective way to play a 70 no. hour long game oh. <laughs> to rent the console. Well, because the, but the thing is, I, like, I did actually manage to finish it in the window that I, I had rented it. So it's it kind of amazing. Good. Honestly. But then uh, we ended up just buying a PlayStation, and I ended up getting Final Fantasy VII like for Christmas one year anyway. So it was it was fun. Greatest yeah, hits no, edition? Was... No, it was just oh. like the uh, wow. you know just just the bog standard. No, no hits. Just the just the the standard edition. I think. I think it's it's the same, right? The greatest hits was just like. When a game used to sell super well, they would re-release it for like twenty bucks instead. Yeah, yeah exactly. That was, yeah. A, that was a dream, man. Or um, <laughs> they they did the same thing on N sixty four, but I don't remember what it was called. That's how I got WWF Warzone. Oh man, those wrestling games on the sixty four were great. Oh yeah, uh, dude. Oh, so No Mercy and uh, um, WCW NWO No Revenge. Oh, no Mercy, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, yeah. I think you said the same no. thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, both were both were great though. Have you guys both ever were... been to uh to to a live wrestling show? Like uh like they've they've had them in I don't know about like Ottawa, but definitely Montreal no. and Toronto. I actually so. I it was in Mississauga. I um Evil Uno oh, yeah. um in, invited me. Uh I couldn't I couldn't go though, sadly. But um other than that, no, I've never actually been. I almost went. I went to a Monday Night Raw live in uh, Montreal at the oh. Coliseum in like '98. That's the perfect and, time. Uh, it was uh, well. It was the first time like we like so we went and my my friend had his license at that point and borrowed his mom's car and we drove. It was like two hours to drive there, but it was the first time that we'd ever like uh, stayed at a hotel like oh. just a whole bunch of guys staying at a hotel because like by the time we got there and watched Raw and everything, we didn't want to drive back, so we just ended up staying over there. It was fun. It was around the time when, like, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin and, like, The Undertaker and all those, you know, those were, like, the big the big wrestlers of the day or whatever. Mm -hmm. The Rock and yeah. and yeah. all that. It was it was exciting. It was good. Do you remember the fight where um, it was Brett the Hitman Hart versus Stone Cold and Brett put him in the sharpshooter and Stone Cold, he had, like, you know, a cut on his forehead, so he's, like, bleeding all over. And he's, like, he's like you could hear him, because normally you can't always hear the wrestlers when they're in the mat, but he was, like, ah, <laughs> ah, and he's reaching for the rope, and he wouldn't recall. tap. He wouldn't tap, but he, he passed out from, like, blood loss, like, obviously fake passed out before he yeah. could touch the rope. It was, like, I was, like, are you kidding? <laughs> Did they just do that? Like, nobody can survive the sharpshooter. Oh. That was... Oh, man. Who was the which wrestler did the the had the uh the, their signature move was the gas pedal? What, what was that? Who was that again? Uh, that's what I thought that was just on the schoolyard. That that's the only place yeah. I've ever no, seen. No, there was a wrestler part. that had it, wasn't there? Or maybe that is just maybe. I mean, I Rikishi know. used to stick his butt in the people's stink face. face. Yeah, the stink yeah, face. but that's not a gas pedal. And uh, mankind, like uh, you know, the sock puppet uh, in the mouth. <laughs> Oh yeah. What was that? Was it Gold Dust had like the 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 like the the, nice. the powder that he would? Yeah. No, who was I, that? Who had the powder? Oh, like, who Kamala. The... Was it Kamala? Oh. Yeah, Kamala used to blow the powder into the guys' faces. Yeah. And everybody was just like, "No thanks. I don't know what's in this stuff." Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be a, a workplace hazard. Oh my god. Yeah. So the greens are definitely slower uh, oh, yeah. in the rain too. Yeah. Oh, it's because it's raining. Uh, stroke four, I can't believe it. Oh, this is a par four. Oh, no, never mind, it's a birdie. Birdie. Yeah, I actually got onto the green for once. Just oh, tapping man. it, tapping it in. Oh, it's so sad. Why, it's so sad. It's <laughs> bogey, bogey. And there's sad music in it. Bogey. <laughs> it's, I don't know, someone in chat just said, Draw the first image result when you search stink face wrestling. No. <laughs> you you knew what you were getting into when you googled that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I wanna know. 
Okay, another one for you guys. Have you ever seen uh, Charles Barkley uh, play golf before? I have. Um, I, I've seen his golf stroke. I think I have. Yeah. My God, is very uh, is very. What what's the it's word? funny? It's like it's jagged. Very... Oh man, I don't know what he's thinking. Like, <laughs> I mean, oh, but he fixed does it. it. Does it work? <laughs> Apparently, he fixed it. I don't know. Like, if you, if you, uh, now, if you would laugh, I think, if you saw it. It's like he gets, I've, like, halfway through his, uh, like, four swing, and then he, like, starts bending his knees like crazy. Yeah, like, it's just like, oh, really? oh, you don't want to do that. His body just are not synced up whatsoever. <laughs> it's like turn-based. Uh, yeah, it's, it's I mean, turn-based it golf. It can be hard to fix a swing, though. Sometimes it's just, like, you got an idea going into it, but then your body... Just yeah. uh, it's like no no I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the ground or I'm gonna top the ball and it just. Well, that's why I gotta, I gotta go to the pitch and putt man I gotta look at that now. Yeah. Gotta that's... get myself sorted out here. Yeah, it's dude, it's good stuff. Even yeah, just the driving range and and uh, chipping onto a green. It's very satisfying. There's just so elegant, elegant. Whoosh. It's a gentleman's game, but and it's played by John Daly. Sorry, it's a gentle person's <laughs> game. Yeah, and it's played by gentle people. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Absolutely. Like they say uh, in England, they say that football is a gentleman's game, played by not not gentlemen. You know what I mean? Nice. Um, but I feel rugby? like golf and maybe tennis as well. No, rugby is, is they 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 tend not to say that rugby players are like uh, have like a thuggish quality to them, right? They're, they're I mean, they they're more like tree trunks, and yeah. nobody calls a tree thuggish, you know? No, you would not. You wouldn't, unless you were cruising for bruising, you know. Mm -hmm. Did you see the video in the the aftermath of that uh, England four nil victory over Ukraine? Where the guy is, he's had one too many carlings, I think, and he like <laughs> yeah. jumps off of a, he jumps off of a table, onto right. a table, but it's not like one of those folding tables. It's like a thick like oak coffee table. Oh, <laughs> and when oh he no. lands on it, like it, it just completely screws up his back. Oh, man. yeah, oh, no, no, I mean, it's a, no. it's a beautiful. So it was. Video. Just his intent was to to go through the table i think he was just oh. so hammered he's like i'm celebrating right and then he, the table just you know was yeah. subject to the laws of physics dude one time uh when i was a kid uh my buddy and like we were took all the the cushions and stuff and blankets off the couch and just kind of threw them around no. we we're kind of having a, a, a mosh pit but like for some reason the coffee table was still there, but it was like under a, a blanket, and um, so I went like I dived face first off the couch into it and like smacked my mouth right on the. I don't know how I still have my teeth. Like I was totally fine, other than just being stupefied by my own uh, stupidity. But man, that hurt. Oh my god. I think everybody's got a story kind of like that, right? Oh yeah. You, yeah. You my parents really, really dumb. My mom always tells a story about how like it was maybe like my fourth or fifth birthday party and my neighbor's kid was over cuz I mean I think that's how birthday parties go when you're that age. Mm -hmm. And uh he was running around the living room and then he fell on the like tripped on the rug and then smashed his temple on the corner of the <laughs> the oh, coffee that's table. happened to a lot of kids, yeah. And then my parents Jeez. were like, we had to wait like like five seconds to make sure like he wasn't dead. But then when he got up, he just started running again. And we figured we were okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's, uh, that's how it goes, oh, man. man. That's good Rough, stuff. Though, like, well, like, as, as you know, as a parent, like if your kid does that, you are crapping yourself. Like, oh, just, yeah. Yep. But even like, you know, our our daughter, she doesn't have control of her limbs super well yet. So like, oh, we, yeah. we gave her this toy. It's like a, a wooden. Wasn't she egg. a baby? <laughs> <laughs> we gave her this toy that's like a wooden egg, and then she was holding it, and she like lifted it up, and we were like, yeah, wow, amazing. And then just 
I don't know, like the devil took over and just she took it and just <laughs> smashed it into her forehead. Oh and we God. were like, what? And then she like started to cry and we like took the egg away from her and put it back in the toy box and stuff. And we're like, oh, come on. It's literally like it's it's the only three dimensional shape with no edges, and you just smash your head in. Is she gonna learn that? I mean, she's too early to like really, like learn from that, right? Uh, I don't know. It like, did look her a little shot. bruise, but oh yeah. my gosh, that was a great shot. Yeah, it's uh, it's always a uh, it's always um, a dicey one when you when your kids like we're it. it constantly like at my house it's, it's, it's we're always like don't run stop running around like <laughs> they just they, they always run but like my daughter especially will just bash into stuff she does she's she's too busy like paying attention to what my son's doing so she just ends up slamming into doors or like clotheslining herself or whatever oh man just constantly have you thought about giving them like little leg shackles or whatever <laughs> many times yeah i just um like a shock i don't think society or... is quite at the point where um that's acceptable you know like as much as i would love to force it to be like they, you just can't it's always people that are childless or don't have kids yet that are like oh you oh, no. can't put leg shackles uh -oh. on your kids Oh, you got a lucky bounce there. If that was PGA 2K21, that would have been in the drink for sure. No, it would have been in the hole, man. I'm telling you, that was no, no way. It was that a perfect it, shot. It would have hit. It would have hit that angle, and it would have gone flying. Like there's no way the grass would have cushioned oh, them. Oh no, no. Watch this. All right, you ready, sucker? Oh, nice. I I think this is okay. Never mind. I don't think you took into account the the fast rainy wind. Mm -hmm. I, a little bit, but I was also like I was kind of sloped in my stance. A, a touch. True. Like I'm not gonna make this. I'm not gonna make the same mistake, Mal. Check this out. All right, whatever, noob. Yeah, see this? No. It's... No, even then, it's still I overshot it big time. Wow. Too. Okay. Well, wow. now that I've seen you guys go, <laughs> oh, this is all. Oh. oh. Get ready for this. He's going for the sand wedge. Sand, a club, open face sand wedge. Then. Interesting. Oh. Uh, interesting shooting technique with this. Whoa. Not bad. Not bad. That was, not that bad, was not good. Bad. That was really good, actually. <laughs> it's my turn to uh, take a very long putt here. Mm, I will say. When I was like a teenager and I would see those kids that are like on leashes and stuff like that, <laughs> you always <laughs> you always go like, ah, oh, first off, that's kind of ooh, oh. that's kind of funny, but also like long it's long. Bad. I feel yeah. bad for the kid. But now I'm like, I kinda get it. When you gotta yeah. like, what do you have like a two year old kid? That, what's to stop him from just running out into the bike lane and getting, you know, Lance Armstrong? Do you the, guys the um, leash, that's it? Maybe you guys are too young to remember this, but I don't know if you remember the uh, Mike Myers used to have a skit on Saturday Night Live called um, was it the Hyper Hypo? Was it like was it Simon or he used to, he he it was he's like he was playing it as a kid and he had one of those harnesses and uh, mm. his parents would like do oh, whatever yeah, I they remember could that. Dude, not I to do... give him any sugar and yeah, then if I they gave you, him I a bit of sugar he would just go insane and like yep. start pulling like the jungle gym along with them and like running down the street was that Michael stuff. Myers? it was why are you calling him yeah. Michael Myers? that's the guy from Michael Halloween Myers. yeah whatever <laughs> it's like Simon was a, or... I definitely remember the skit I just can't remember if it was Mike Myers but I mean I guess it was Mike Myers yeah you that can't a uh, murderer you can't go back and watch it now. It's hard to watch, but I just, I don't know. Really? I always remember, I always remember the scene of him like with his face, like just like chocolate Covered. all around yeah. his mouth. And he's got like a helmet on and that stupid yes, harness. Yes, the helmet. Yeah. And he's pulling like one of those, those like, uh, like dome shaped climbing frame things. Mm. Like, you know, from yep. the. Nice shot. No, it's, dude. Like, yeah. It along I, behind him. I definitely remember that. It's good stuff. Good I have show. No, no memory of this whatsoever. Yeah, it was like mid mid nineties, maybe early nineties SNL, I think. Fresher pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it, the paper? Why? 
Thank you, Pepper Boy. That's the perfect amount of pepper. <gasps> Bravo! It's so good. Yeah. They, it, they've had some classic skits on, on Saturday Night Live for sure. Yeah. But I, but again, like Saturday Night Live is one of those shows that even even when it it seemed like it was good at the time, it probably was okay. But if you go back and watch it later on. It's it's never as good as you remember. I don't know some of the. I mean, like a lot of the. Except maybe for the, the the Chris coffee Farley. tasting thing with Chris Farley. Chris, all the Chris Farley Chippendales up holds up. Um, oh yeah, that was good too. Yeah. Him and, and Patrick Swayze and like. Oh man. Oh, but Chris Farley, he's just he's he's too good because he uh, he had the delivery, but like a lot of his humor is is, is physical as well, right? Yeah. Which not everybody can do. And, um, yeah, Matt Foley is great. That still, that still holds up. Do you remember that skit with Adam Sandler where he was, uh, it was Aerosmith's greatest hits, but it was just, it was all like crying. Like the, it was all one song, but it, like, <laughs> it, it, it would like sweet emotion would come on, but it would be like to the tune of, of crying or whatever. It was, uh, it was funny. I'll see if I can find it now. If you probably like it. I, yeah, I, I, if I see it, it might ring a bell, but... Yeah. I don't remember ever seeing it on the show, but I saw a clip of it, and it was, uh... Nice it's pretty funny. You ever like, buy I saw one of those weird. DVDs that was, like, you know, the best of uh, Will Ferrell on Saturday no, Night no. Live? No, never. Nice. Were they good? No, I don't know. I never bought them. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> so Will Ferrell had some decent one ones. Hmm. Hmm. Some decent ones. Oh, oh. oh. Ouch. Oh, I made a big, big, a big error there. I don't. I think this is okay. Yeah, it's 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 nice, the nice same as mine. Top spin Actually, it's roll. better than mine. Nice yeah. lay, nice lay. <laughs> I think it's nice lie. <laughs> nice. nice lay. <laughs> nice lay is something completely different. <laughs> well, come on, it's like two birds with one stone. <laughs> two birds stone. Uh... Celebrity Jeopardy was the best skit. I yeah, don't know. Again, cause the guy, it, it's the... kind of funny, but it, like it was a lot funnier at the time, I think, than looking yeah. back on it. Dude, I was watching. I, so the the SNL sketch. There's two sketches from like the last ten years that everyone that actually enjoys the show is like, oh, the show is not that funny, but these two sketches are hilarious. Mm -hmm. I don't get it at all. The Tom Hanks is David S. Pumpkins, where he just comes out and goes any questions i literally don't understand the joke i haven't what? seen that i haven't seen that one either is he it, he comes out it's tom hanks he's got a weird voice and he goes any questions and then is it a reference to something i i don't get it and then the other one is peter dinklage saying space pants i don't get it i don't get it I like, uh, I mean, some of the, the song ones, like, Dick in a Box, uh, I'm a mother lover, you're a mother, and the, oh, what's but, that? Yeah, but those Dick are from, like, the box is pretty funny. What about the those are from 15 years ago, though. The Chronicles of Narnia, remember that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, Lazy Sunset. Chronicles you know, of Narnia. You know, what's his face from the Strokes, the, the, the fingerless gloves? Yeah, Julian Casablancas. Whoa. I love the Strokes, too. Yes. Hey, I saw this. I, I saw the Strokes live, Mouth, one time. Really? Mine yeah, the festival. They play uh, really Heart good. in a Cage. Uh, no, I don't think so. They played like uh, this was. Uh, I think this was right after their second album came out. Oh, like, that's great timing. Like, was it Rep Reptilia or whatever? Reptilia is. Uh, uh, it was a, I don't. It was a very popular one. It's good. Yeah, it was. It was. It was all right. It was at a festival. I actually, I saw them. And uh, the Pixies at the same oh, show. Oh, the, Pix oh, the Pixies oh, doing a reunion tour. Mr. Yeah, Big Shots. Really yeah, Mr. Wow. Big Shots. Wow, the Pixies. Music. Wow. Live, did they play live music. Do, do yeah. lots? Did they, did they do lots? They, I don't man, know why they call they... the album Do Little. I, I wish they'd do it some more. Wow. It's your Adam Sandler? <laughs> Oh, thank you. It's it's my Owen Wilson. I'm still working on. Oh, it kind of sounded wow. like you were doing Little Nicky. I I do get that a lot. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Thank you. Nice shot. Perfect shot. I gotta, I I gotta make it pass. less less Little Nicky, more Drill Bit Taylor. You know. It's still Little Nicky. I'm sorry. It's so. Your skin tastes <laughs> like coconut. <laughs> 
Oh, one sec. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, eating a mango, playing golf. Isn't this the life, Loki? God of mischief. Wow. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. Hey, I know. I haven't watched. I haven't seen it. I don't know if I'm even going to bother. Oh, I you hear will. it's pretty good, though. Why wouldn't you watch I'm it? so behind with the uh, superhero stuff. Like, um, Oh, well, most of this stuff in uh, Loki actually like deals with the Marvel Cinematic nice. Universe around like 2013. So you might be oh, contemporary. Right. Maybe, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I think I'm just done with superheroes, you know? Like, Oh, come on. It's like Rubbish. every movie and every TV show is, is just superheroes now. Because they're super. I guess so, yeah. And, and heroes. Mm -hmm. Well, Loki, that's what makes him so interesting. He's kind of an anti-hero, right? Is he? He's got a mischief. Oh, he's got a mischief. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. Nice wow. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe I, I'll, I'll get around to it. I mean, I'll probably have more time to watch stuff with a, you know, baby sleeping on my on my lap and stuff. Yeah, it's Soon. a great show to watch at 4.30 in the morning, for sure. Oh, That's how I watched all of The Mandalorian in, like, two weeks. Mandal Mom. Mandalorian. <laughs> Mandal <laughs> <laughs> if you're that, I mean, I have Disney Plus now. I guess I should go and watch that, eh? Mandalorian is pretty good. It gets better too. Like, I, I thought season two was better than season one, and all the seasons they got like better within as well. Mandalorian's really opinion. good. I, I I enjoyed it. Yeah, that was good. Oh, look at that! It, was, pot. it felt uh, oh, grim job. <laughs> it felt kind of uh, uh, gritty, which is not something that Star Wars has felt like for a while, right? I think that the grittiest Star Wars ever got maybe was like The Empire Strikes Back. Well, um, I think that's like they really made a smart decision with The Mandalorian with that cold open where uh, Luke Skywalker gets bitten in half by the, the Rancor and then you see like his intestines and shit spill out all over the, the Rancor pit and you're like, whoa, this is going to be serious. <laughs> and then <laughs> Yoda, Yoda, you see Yoda's balls. I thought that, <laughs> I that was that. Pretty, when, yeah. when Yoda when Yoda sends a, a a dick pic. I thought that was a good episode as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just with uh, it was just just it was just the pic, and then he sent uh, an accompanying te like uh, text message that that simply said, mm. that's, that's <laughs> it. That's "All it was." <laughs> what a guy. Oh, oh my, my god. god! Yoink! Tapping. Aren't they, if these are all tappins, they should just do it for us, man. Come on. Tap it in. It's a Ooh, big Marvel tapping. week because we, you know you got Loki episode mm -hmm. on Wednesday. Black Widow coming to Disney Plus premiere access on Friday. Mhm. Mm Which I heard they they did like almost like a James Bondy vibe or like espionage vibe mm. to it. I don't know, I haven't seen it yet. Well, that's, that's what I heard, yeah. What about Whiplash, though? Oh! Oh, man. That's a movie. That is a movie. <laughs> oh, man, man. Is, it was so good. You, you gotta watch, uh, you gotta watch Nightcrawler, though. I'm guaranteed you're gonna also like good. it. Also good. Because it's, yeah, it's, oh, it's good. Just watch it. That was a cheeky shot on TV. Mm. <laughs> Are we allowed to do that? I mean, I well, guess you did it, right? He did it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I right, shot monkey. it onto the fairway of another hole. Monkey see, monkey do. Which I mean, in real golf, like you shouldn't do that on purpose. Is this allowed? No. <laughs> have you have you seen that video? Sorry. It's the the it, a, a woman and a, a man who might be a prosthetic. A uh, love doll are making out in a Starbucks, and then it's just the guy <laughs> pointing his finger at them, going, "Is this allowed? Is this allowed?" <laughs> and then the the girl goes, "Stop." That's the end of the video. Yeah, I'm. I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna cheat. I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna do this the right way. It's a par five. I'd recommend it. I mean, you guys do know more about this game than I do, but still. Um, oh, I've never played this course, so. Oh really? I don't think so. 
Oh, I forgot. It's even weirder. I don't even know if you're listening to me, but I just want to say it. They're not even making out. They're just like, they're they're holding their foreheads together. They're locked oh. in some kind of weird embrace that's even weirder than kind of like a out. funky Eskimo kiss. <laughs> Isn't that the one, the nose one? You go like, wiggle, wiggle. I think What's I got it confused where... with, with Eskimo Brother. I don't uh -oh. know. What's the eyelash one that you like flutter your eyelash those are, together? Those are butterfly kisses. Butterfly in the kisses. Rough. It's a great way to get pink eye, too. No, thanks. Hey, what did you think of my peppers, Mouth? Did you see them? <laughs> Dude, yeah, man. I'm uh, I'm very impressed. It's good job. Thanks. Good job. I, um, thanks. I've been I've been still picking off buds and stuff from mine. I've, the plants aren't quite large enough. But my cherry tomato I walked out yesterday. Is like, hey man, check it out. There's a bunch of tomatoes on that mofo. Hey, really? Wow. Yeah. My, my my I got a cherry tomato plant that's just starting to flower now. But my other tomato plant, some little tomatoes are growing on it. Mhm. Mm so about three of them. It's pretty good. That's uh See. yeah. The the cherry tomatoes they definitely uh. Once they start flowering, it's it's not long, right? Because they don't got to grow they're as small. big, so... Yeah, they're just little... Just cute little tomatoes. Little guys, yeah. And I don't even traditionally, I mean, I didn't like tomatoes, but, like, uh, they're so good, you just, like, you pluck them right off the vine and you eat them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah and I'm not going to... I will not be doing that, but... Really? <laughs> oh. I mean, if I was growing chocolate on there, <laughs> hell yeah, but... What about berries? No, hell no. Really? Oh man, a nice ripe strawberry right off the vine is actually, you know. Look at this lie, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you didn't compensate went, for it. I went, no, I really didn't. But there is a bit of wind, but it didn't help much. <laughs> oh, it was like, it was like 90 degrees to the right. It was so good. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh it's not bad, oh, not bad. I nice. think I needed some more spin on it. Nice recovery. Ryan, put it, dunk it, dunk it. I'll try. Okay, you ready for this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. I, need, I like the need top spin. Uh... Yeah. Need a little more power on that one. That's okay. Oh, you know what else comes out this week? I, I think you should leave season two. Yeah, I gotta yeah. watch season one. You haven't watched, you, neither of you have watched season the one. The bubbles are their money, so are the worms. I know that. <laughs> you stink. I am doing the best at this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I saw the one where he crashes the car in and he's like stealing the pants and stuff and he's in the banana suit. We all, we all gotta find the guy who did this. Yep. <laughs> that one's did, you like guys, that one. did you guys watch that, um, that Tim and Eric sitcom thing, the Beef House? Did you see that? Beef House. Be Beef no. House. I, I've yeah, never even heard of it, honestly. Oh, I've seen God. a lot of Steve Brule, but that's dirty. You gotta get on Beef House. Really? Malph, I, Malph especially, I think Malph would actually like Beef House. Are you kidding um, me? Beef House? Beef House? Okay. Is it on, like, YouTube? Uh, I don't know if it's on YouTube. Is it on Netflix? You might have to... I don't, maybe? Canadian Netflix? Wait, what's the Boston? show? Is it Adult Swim? I this, think so, this, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. called Beef House. Uh, maybe it's on Netflix. I don't know. You have to take a look. Sips, do you drink Bovril? Uh, I don't drink it, but like, <laughs> had it. It's like, uh, it's like stock, right? Yeah, I thought kind it was like, like a beef, like a beef it's tea. It's like a grape. No, no. It's like a, it's like you use it as like a, like a, like a stock of gravy. Don't you drink it? No. Well, I don't drink it. I mean, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't drink that. Dude, many people in chat are saying it's a drink. What? All right. No, that's what you dip the the French dip sandwich into. You can if you want. Right. Okay. That's oh wait, sorry. The... Are we talking about the sorry the the birria taco stuff? No, no. <laughs> Bovril, man. Bo Bovril. Bo 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 it's like a. Yeah. It, it's like beef bouillon, but you drink it. Why? I always thought it was just like a gravy. I've never, I've never, I, I know like what it is. Like I've seen it, but I've never bought it or had it before. Have you ever seen this? I. <laughs> it's better Have you ever heard of the Mind yeah. Goblin? <laughs> I, uh, I came up with an idea that Chad did not like. This is like six months ago, but 
You know right. how like bubble tea is so popular? Mm -hmm. I, I don't they, even know what it is. What is bubble tea? It's like it's, uh, it's tea with pearls or jellies in it. Oh, it's got like little bits in it. It's kind of like a, like a juice or a milkshake, depending on which one you get. And then it's got some textural tapioca yeah. balls in it. But I don't really I like, like it because uh, it's so sweet. But what if? Oh, hello. Right. Hey, that's nice. Wow. Wow. But what if they made like a salty one? A salty one. What if you? Because like, every time I like cook soup, I'm like, oh man, this broth is so good. What if you could just get a bubble tea and you like puncture the top with your straw and it's just like chicken noodle soup in there? <laughs> and you gotta suck the noodles up through the straw. <laughs> I would, Jeez. I would get, I would get soup tea, man. No, you wouldn't. I would. If I could. Didn't, I thought, that's didn't what Campbell's <laughs> actually have that. Couldn't you? I thought they actually had like a, a, a drinkable broth. I'm pretty sure. I'm Stop sick. Some Clamato if you want that. <laughs> some Mott's Clamato. I think I, I saw that guy uh, die in the first episode of The Mandalorian. But the Mott's Clamato guy? Mott's, Mott's Clamato, yeah. Isn't he a Mott's bounty Clamato. hunter? <laughs> yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. It's such a good bounty hunter name, isn't it? I'm so sick of, like, if you go out and you're, like, having your day, the only things you can get for, like, a fast meal is, like, you can get a sandwich or maybe, like, a, a pastry or something like that. Yeah. I dude, they should be selling cup soup with like a straw that you could just drink the soup out of. Wait, you can't just get soup like Yeah, but you got to sit down and I, I'm like No, wait, I'm busy. You can't, I'm a you busy can get guy. soup to go. Well, you can, I mean, you but can't over he here, doesn't so. want to use a spoon. He wants to Oh, right. You want to just drink it like it's a uh... Yeah, imagine yeah. just wait for it to like cool down like, and then drink it like I don't want to be beholden like... to the the tyranny of the spoon anymore. Right. You know what it is? You guys are oh like my when God, they. This shot. That was a great shot. When they when they invented the car, you guys are the you're riding your horse and buggy right now, going like, oh, why would I even want to go fast? Do you know and what? I'm, I am like that I, with a lot of things. Like, yeah, yeah, the older too. I get as well, I'm just like, Do you, what are you? Why are you having a tea that's that's really sweet and has stuff in it? What are you doing? Like, uh, it doesn't make any sense. I would never even drink that. You know. Do you really want to drink uh, clam chowder through a straw? <laughs> well, you don't. Oh, have, not on. every soup has to be slurpable. But you're gonna. As soon as you slurp one soup, and your life has changed. You're gonna want to slurp them all, man. You gotta. Then they're gonna be coming out with like, nice. you know, bam. The, the it's like the you know when they came out with the wide mouth cans. Oh yeah. They're gonna have to do that, you know. So you got <laughs> and your. Eventually, it's gonna be like, oh, you should really have a spoon with this and. They'll give you that McFlurry straw that's actually a spoon. Dude, I I hate those. Remember when Tim Hortons used to do those soups at the bread bowl, and you could oh, you then could I ate the bowl, the and then eat the bowl mm. after. I guess that's like a fairly common that's just thing. Just a now, thing, but yeah. <clears throat> I remember them being well. For me, that was like the first place I ever knew that did that. I miss you know the old days of Tim Hortons. I'd go there with my mom. I get the freaking egg salad, and just maybe get a donut on the side, and you yeah, send man. it. Get a bagel <laughs> where like sour there's cream <laughs> glazed. Oh man, those are so good. It's One side of the bagel taste. has you know like a kilo, a kilo of cream cheese on it. The other side of the bagel has like just a scratch of cream cheese on it. Yeah, there's a couple of different uh, bagel places that you could go to like that weren't Tim Hortons, right? Like um, the Great Canadian Bagel was one of them. Mm -hmm. There's um, remember that place? There's a, a chain in Vancouver called Sully's, uh, and Every once in a while, I'm like, oh, I want to try it out because I like bagels. If you look up the reviews, literally every review describes a story of the owner of the establishment yelling at either the patrons I or saw. the staff. <laughs> and it like this is years and years and years of reviews. Every single one is like, I thought I would get a cinnamon roll. And then when I went in there, she told me to go to hell. And I'm like, oh, geez, man. <laughs> Sounds yeah. like. It's trying to be like a soup Nazi, you know? Mm. Like, no bagel for you. Three years. Nice shot. I was uh, nice shot. On, on the subject of, of cars and horses and buggies. I'm willing to admit I was a smartphone doubter for sure. Really? I never, you were just like, I oh. never um, was too bothered about smartphones. I was. I remember it's... being in Korea and one of my friends was like, well, my coworker was like, I'm going to get an iPhone. And I was like, dude, you're so stupid. Like. 
they're so <laughs> expensive and it's just like a glorified like what you got a you've got a laptop why would you ever want a smartphone you're gonna regret that so much turns out i think that he he was on the right side of history on that one <laughs> <laughs> basically the same attitude as steve bomber it, yeah. You know, I, I, I would not, be a I'm bad about the iPhone. It's mm -hmm. like, oh. I would be a bad uh, tech CEO, I think. They'd be like, what are your new products? And I'd be like, what are you talking about? I'm just going to make the same shit I've always made. <laughs> and then hope, hope that the world doesn't change. Man. The world, the oh, world has changed and, and left me behind. They're, mm, they're drinking yeah. like avocado uh, tea oh. and... Coffees and pumpkin spice and everything, and I'm still on the old stuff. Like, I can't keep up anymore. Yeah, I'm, you're the kind of guy you go to Starbucks and you're like, "Can I have a large coffee?" <laughs> yeah, they're like, "What are you talking about?" It's like Brooks and Shawshank, you know. He's like, "The world went and got itself in a big hurry." <laughs> you know? Yeah. He got institutionalized, man. For like. Is that the years. guy that kid that hung himself because he yeah, just couldn't yeah. cope? Spoilers. Yeah. Spoilers. Come on. Hey, dude! That, I that only happens in an hour and a half yet. into that four and a half hour long movie. No, <laughs> that's that like that's that. like the halfway yeah. point, honestly. The best part of that movie was when they're on the roof and and he's like, "Hey, sipping beers." Yeah, and they're like, "Can can me and the boys have some suds?" Because it's such <laughs> a hot day. That's the best part of the whole movie. That's good. Yeah, because he convinces them. But I, also, I like the part where he's like. They're on the roof, and he's like uh, the the guard, who's also in Starship Troopers because he's oh, badass. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh he, yeah. Uh, he's he's like, they won the lottery or something like that. But he's talking about taxes, and he's like, hey, and Andy's like, you trust your wife? And the guard is like, and the guy's like, you don't say that. And he almost throws him off the roof. And it's like, Andy, don't say that. But then he's like, <laughs> and then at the last thing he's like, because if you do, there's no reason you can't keep every dime of that money. And then he stops. And then I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he was giving him, giving him sound financial advice, and he yeah. only just realized right before he killed him that this. Hey, hang on a sec. This guy might be saying something worth listening to. <laughs> That's the dialogue he was having inside his mind at the time. Yeah. What a movie. Hey, yeah, it's it was a great one. Oh, Shawshank Redemption. I don't really like it that much, to be honest. I haven't seen it in a long time. I think the last time I saw it, I was a, probably like a teenager. Really? Yeah. I watch it like once a year, man. Really? How do you, you clear your schedule? Oh, yeah. It's so freaking long. Like, I mean, it's like I don't one know. of the longest <laughs> movies. Like you talking, you're the one who said you took 40 like minutes a, just to pick a movie. Yeah, that's it's like, like all those, one all those dads installing Windows 95 for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> weeks you just put it on in the background and then you do your your emails and whatever you can do your funny tweets or whatever no funny. thank you oh well, no i mean asterisk hop beside, over. besides the yes funny. wow oh, what a, hop over. <laughs> what a oh, shot man that's a trick shot oh you want to see a trick shot then check this out <laughs> now, watch this. now dig off on this. the tree off the basketball net off the girder. Here it comes. Oh! I don't even... <laughs> little hop. Oh, you don't even need it. Look little this. bends, please. Little bends. Oh, oh, oh my! Great <laughs> Have we had a? We nobody's had a hole in one yet, right? Oh no. No. Nah. This is hole fifteen. Jeez. Fifteen holes without a hole in one. What? Jeez Louise. <laughs> I thought that this game would have more like stuff, you know, like you could throw a turtle shell at somebody, like if they're taking too long, and you know what yeah. I mean. Like I thought it was going to be a bit more like Mario Kart, and not like a just a serious golf game. There, like... there are special shots you can use to screw people over, but I'm like a caricature of myself, so I turned them off. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, that's too much fun. I just want to golf. You just want to play like the normal golf. Sure. Nice on. Don't do when you play the single player. If you do, you would be like, it's rubbish. Yeah, you gotta run. You gotta run to your ball. There's one. One of the courses is like it's not even about. Whoa! <laughs> it's not even about just golfing. It's nice like bird. you know, you have a stroke limit, and you gotta like hit it into tornadoes and stuff. To yeah, yeah it's not my tempo. Not my not my tempo. 
I like this. This is good. It's nice, right? It's just casual. It's, it's just a really nice golf game. What a shot. Oh, what a nice shot. Right on the pin. Thank Jeez. You, thank you. I'm, I'm warmed up now. Locked up. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to nice say Kirby. <laughs> you scared me. You definitely oh, scared me. Sips Are you playing on your kid's account? Yeah, Sips Jr. I sure am, yeah. You should bring his uh, <laughs> MMR down. <laughs> yeah, so oh, well. Yeah. I'll log into Sp Splatoon and spend all of his... Nice yeah, spend all his V-Bucks in there. Or whatever, yeah. Oh, wow. Dude, this is, this is hole in one -able nice for shot. sure. I'm, I'm yes. rooting for you. Don't compensate for the wind as much as I did, and, and this is a hole-in-one potential. With standard spin, that one could do it, man. I had backspin. That is right on target. There's a this. chance, man. Holy frick. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> oh, I did it. Man, that feels good. Wow, dude. Sips, Sips got a hoy, man. That's crazy. What the heck? Boy, I'm sure glad I'm not going after him. Huh? Watch this. <laughs> oh, like oh she wanted to one. say Donna. Oh. oh, no, I hit it way too hard. Look at this. This is the baby. Dad died? Dad died? Didn't mean to spook you, honey. Dad died? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, she's cute. Oh, thank you. Dude, that's Man, she has so cute. much hair. <laughs> yeah, we get that a lot. <laughs> my, yeah, my kids were bald as nice. as like anything for like three, four years. Like it's crazy. Mm -hmm. My daughter only just has hair now. She's been... Dude, I'm gonna get into that business. Baby wigs. Baby, baby wigs. Baby wigs. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Baby wigs and baby toupees. Oh, baby toupees. Dude, I would get one of those. If I yeah. if <laughs> I had a, a, a newborn baby, get the... Yeah, like, a, like a full, like, old businessman hair. Dude, that's what there. I was I thinking. I can already see baby. the marketing, too. It's like you get, like, a matching set, you know? <laughs> For the... <laughs> There was a. Do you guys remember on the topic of uh, Saturday Night Live skits that mm -hmm. we talked about like an hour ago? But uh, bringing it back because it was uh, it was such a good one. Uh, mm -hmm. The um, do you guys remember that skit? I think it was Phil Hartman, but he was like he was a baby, but he was like a fully grown man with like white Wham. hair and a full business yeah. suit and <laughs> like the boss baby. Know? It was not Boss Baby. It was like, um, I can't remember like what his name was, but basically his mom gives birth to him and then he's just like a 60 year old man yeah. straight away, like I, fully uh, talking and stuff. I do remember that one. It was a weird one. Very rough. I think it was Phil Hartman. No, I'm pretty sure. I, I'm picturing it. Beck Bennett. Is that it? Does he, does he have the, like, he wear the little thing around his face, like the little, what do you call the bonnet or whatever? No, it wasn't Benjamin Button. It was, uh, I think it was Beck Bennett or something like that. Oh, frick. Nice shot. You ever see the Boss Baby? No. What, like the, no. the, like the cartoon? Like the animated Yeah, thing? yeah. No, I haven't seen no, that one. Me neither. Just check it. Ba baby penises. <laughs> it may, it might be on your, uh, on your viewing radar at some yeah. point. Yeah. Well, the, the sequel comes out soon. Oh wow! What a treat. I know you're thinking like after the first one, what could they? Holy crap! How could they possibly yeah. top that? <laughs> oh, oh, a rare misstep there. Can't I hate it. to say it because it's not like cerebral comedy, which is what I'm very much known for, I'd say. <laughs> yeah. But um, I I can't help but laugh whenever there's like a sketch comedy show where they have someone's face upside down and then they put like sunglasses on their chin oh. and then they they start talking. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah it, I the, the teeth always freak you. Yeah. yeah. Some, something about that, it gets me every time, man. It's quite good. Okay. Oh. Here Although, can another. you even call it Big cerebral now? 
Ryan? Mm, why is that? Since we know it's scripted, right? So like. I, that was a joke. In... Oh yeah, how convenient. Oh, haha. -ha, you know, it's. Mm, well, eh. I did. I I have resolved to start writing down. Oh no, my what god. An approach there. I have resolved to start writing down bit ideas because I'm such a like a font of bits. You know what I mean? That yeah. like sometimes I just I'll have like four bits in the shower, and then by the time I get out, I've already forgotten them. So I, I think it's good for me to start writing them down. You usually should leave your wow. bits in the toilet, Ryan. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice birdie. Oh. Nice birdie. What a chip. Very nice. So like I yeah I had a I had a notepad document for today I was like I got to talk about the Tomorrow War mission accomplished the Invisible Man mission accomplished nice um, oh, then um, Palm Springs which I talked about myself and uh, I haven't talked about yet that in the song Regulate uh, <laughs> Nate Dog literally saves Warren G's life by by killing yeah. the eight dudes who have him hemmed up and they're all around that's right um, yeah. but then. When he describes the event to the audience, he says, now they drop it in and yelling, it's a tad bit late. Nate Dogg and Warren G had to regulate. Like, I think he's a great yeah. leader because he spreads around the uh, the credit. Well, it sounds to me like he, he kind of freed Warren G so that both of them could kill eight guys together. You, you think know, that like, he, he took out the first one? It wasn't and then just G. Okay, Nate yeah. Dogg, yeah. Mm. Or maybe Nate Dogg sort of, like, uh, snuck <laughs> in to, like, the warehouse that Warren G was being held in at the time and like you know, excuse me he was not being that. held in a warehouse it was a clear uh, black like, night it was a clear white moon Warren G was right. on the streets trying to consume uh, okay so like maybe they had him handcuffed uh, in like a, I don't know like a park or something like that and Nate Dog would have had to sneak up behind all of these guys and uncuff him <laughs> slip him <laughs> slip him a piece and then sort of give him that knowing nod like we're about to regulate, and mm -hmm. Warren G was like, oh. "Hell yeah, Nate!" I, 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 it has some of the. I listened to Regulate last night, which was the impetus for this. But uh, it has some of my favorite mid '90s hip hop censoring, which yeah. is the song is just about murder, but it goes uh, 16 in the clip and one in the hole. Nate Dogg is about to make some bodies turn, and they censor cold. Like what? after what? After everything that that they've said in that song. He's like, hey, man, you can't say you're making those bodies turn cold. Man. You can say they drop it I didn't yelling, realize but... that that ever was censored. Like, what version were you listening? The radio uh, edit. Yeah, this was YouTube Must radio edit, I guess. Oh, right, okay. Jeez. Is that, I don't know what gets censored anymore. Like, you, you used, they used to censor damn, but now they don't censor damn. But if you say goddamn, they censor god? Like, it's... What? It's just the whole... I don't know, man. It's the whole world. That's crazy. That is... that is weird. You, can you guys remember oh. the, um, the old, like, uh, action movies that they'd show on TV where they'd have to censor out all the profanity? But, like, oh, yeah. sometimes yeah. They, they would bleep it, but then other times they would superimpose, like, another voice over it. Yes, that's my favorite. Like, uh, the classic ones were, like, uh, in Die Hard, it was, like, um, yippee ki Mother Falcon. Yeah, that was, yeah. That was one of them. And then, uh, instead of bullshit in one of the Schwarzenegger movies, I think it was like Commando or whatever, they, they overdubbed it with baloney. Baloney. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one as well. <laughs> baloney. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, the, the classic one I always heard was the scene in The Big Lebowski where John Goodman breaks the... He messes up that dude's car. You see what happens? You see what happens when you feed a stranger scrambled eggs? You see what, you see what happens when you find a stranger in the Alps? Oh, man. Over here, they've got, like, because there's no time zones to deal with or whatever. So they have, like, a, like what's like called the watershed. It's like the, oh, like the yeah. cutoff. I think it's, like, 9 o'clock or something. Yeah. So after 9... Uh, it's just like it's whatever. <laughs> like there's swearing and nudity and everything. It's great. Well, I on think TV, like on normal TV. I I hope that as you know, we get older over here, that North American media standards for nudity relax a little bit. Like 
it's it yeah, just it seems was, crazy to me that like it's weird that they'll 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 sort of gleefully show somebody running down a street with a gun shooting people no problem and then if some but if somebody gets their nipples out they gotta like blur them out it's, it's a nightmare yeah Weird, well, and yeah. like they'll have like law and order svu and stuff like that and they'll be like yeah it looks like somebody came in and you know ripped his toenails out and shoved a bamboo shoot up as urethra and then kicked it and then you're like oh no problem but then they're like yeah oh ladies nipples on this play like that's like a fifty thousand dollar fine just do, like hannibal which is a show that i i liked a lot it's got some incredibly like gross violent imagery gore yep. what a what an approach oh, there. wow nice on. but then it's like you, you can't show like and it, it, the, like the double standard for for gender as well. Like a a naked woman is like, wow, the breasts are okay, but the vagina, whoa, hold on. And then like for a guy, it it's like you can't. A, a flaccid penis is like almost unconscionable. And if you showed an erect penis on network TV, I think it would oh, cause never, a heart yeah. attack. You would. Yeah, yeah, you'd never. People would never them. recover, man. No, yeah. Who can put yeah, it all out it's, there? The whole thing is really weird, man. Yeah. You know, there's, a, I don't know if it's in American TV or, or British TV or whatever, but there's a, a standard for decency for male nudity that's based on nice uh, the angle that Sweden makes in the Baltic Sea. There's like oh, right, an, okay. any any penis that is at a higher <laughs> angle than than Sweden is, is considered like pornography or, or at least pornographic imagery. Wow, oh, okay. nice. <laughs> What if, what if they just combine the gore, so, like, they just cut off the penis, like... <laughs> well, that wouldn't I... be so bad, then, because... You, can you imagine, like, some God-fearing, like, Tennessee woman watching the TV, and she's like, oh, penis, and then somebody shoots it off with a gun, and she's like, oh, okay, that, that thank God. That happens in 21 <laughs> Jump Street. <laughs> At the end, uh... I mean, obviously, it's a fake penis, but they show it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Or, uh, what's that one, uh, he wears, like, the minotaur penis oh. around his neck? <laughs> can it actually hit the pin? It like, can. It or, can. Or oh, yeah, it can, yeah, you okay. can hit the pin. It man, hopped that, that over was a nice the show. hole, man. It hopped over the hole. Really nice birdie. Nice birdie. Nice birdie. Oh. Just picture somebody go, like, oh, my God. Get that off the screen, and then like you know, RoboCop comes up and like <laughs> shoots the dick off, and she's like, "Oh, thank God!" Jeez, oh, man. I almost, I almost got offended there for a second. Now. But luckily, luckily, uh, oh, Rob Lowe came on with the nine millimeter handgun and blew that guy's dick off the screen before I could really know what I was looking at. Speaking of RoboCop, you know the guy that accidentally drives into the uh, to the big toxic waste thing and his face like starts melting and everything. Oh yeah! Imagine yeah. the state of his penis after that. <laughs> like, oh they would never be able to show that on TV. Or, or maybe they could because it would be unrecognizable, right? Yeah. Yeah, it would just be like melting. Like his oh. penis would just be melting and sort of deforming. Dude. It just reminds me of like, is it uh, Hangover Two or Three? Where what's his face is like under a pile of clothes and the monkey just starts. What are, you are you? You don't have you not seen uh, Hangover Three? I don't think no. I've seen. Where's that. the one where Which they're in like the Thailand? One? Oh, that's Hangover oh, Two. Oh, I haven't yeah. seen that one. So, uh, the one I, I saw the one where they go to like uh, I think they go to like a like a like a drug cartel leader's mansion in the desert or something, and there's oh. some guy like locked in the trunk. Oh, yeah. of, a, of their car. That's uh, Mr. Chow. 